is a whole lot of things that come to mind when you hear that name, Margaret Olley. Um, there's this incredible universal language in the genre of still life and the fact that she brings humanity to these utilitarian objects, these sort of really everyday ordinary scenes, but she grabs hold of a moment, captures it and puts this incredible layer of humanity onto it. And I think people really connect to that kind of vision. It's very poetic, but it's really connected to our everyday life. Um, there's also Margaret Olley, you know, the public personality. And I think um, people bring that sense of character when they come to look at the work. And in this instance, we're so lucky to have the recreation of part of her home studio at the heart of this centre. I am most complimented by your invitation to open the Margaret Olley Art Centre in your beautiful Tweed Regional Gallery. We have watched its development since Doug and Margot Anthony gave the land from their dairy farm. At the opening of Stage 2 in 2006, Margaret Olley was guest of honour. The gallery made a deep impression on her its elegant architecture, its setting in gentle curves of the countryside she'd always loved. The Tweed is really where my childhood began, she recalled, in evocative reminiscence with Meg Stewart. The home studio is so famous for its incredible interior. It's got such a dramatic, um, we call Olly orange uh, walls. And, and it's like um, working in the recreation, I've, I've come to really realise it's a bit like a theatre set. Um, the light is quite dramatic. She would always sort of control the light. Um, she's setting up scenes as you go through the space. Uh, the colour, like I mentioned. So it has this incredible atmosphere that um, is quite extraordinary to most of our, you know, home lives. It looks like chaos when you first look at it, but as your eyes adjust, as your sense of perspective adjusts, you actually start to realise that you're looking at a whole lot of still lifes, set up, ready to be painted, ready to be revisited, when the light moves through the day, when the light changes across the season. And that's why it's really important to remember that this, the Hat Factory, Duxford Street, was a home studio, and she described every room as a studio. Uh, first and foremost before it being, you know, a domestic sort of home. Her, her um, bric-a-brac and her paint and, and just feel the sort of trembling kind of presence that still, still abounds. Post event, I am so happy that everyone has enjoyed themselves so much and that their reaction to what we've tried to recreate here has been so positive.